Okay, personality and character look like they're the same, but I can assure you that they are not. They have entirely different stories. I am not going to go into too much depth about this, but I just want to reiterate that, you know, so you'll see this in, in the modules. Um, personality captures kind of who you are, right? It doesn't capture everything. Um, one of the things that's really important to realize is that just because you're an extrovert doesn't mean you need to be with people all the time. That depends on your goals. You know, I'm high in extroversion, but um, you know, I'm an academic, I love research. I could spend all week just doing research. So, you know, personality doesn't dictate exactly what you do. It captures a bit of it, but it, um, it doesn't dictate what you do. But it does give us some really useful language for understanding ourselves and understanding one another and understanding the things that work for us. So personality is those big five characteristics that you'll see in the module. Each of those five are split into two or have two groups, and that makes them far more useful in terms of understanding ourselves. Um, so, so you need to understand that idea that personality is a way of measuring the nature of a human, I guess. Um, there's a strong biological component to personality, but it's not all biology. Um, and your behaviors are very much driven by a combination of your personality and your objectives. Okay. So, um, just because you've got a certain personality, you're the same personality type as the person next to you doesn't mean you're going to do the same thing. That's really important to understand. But your personality does have an influence on the way in which um, you engage with the subject. It has an influence on the way in which you engage with one another um, and a way in which you engage with um, your future career, which is really important to think about front of mind rather than just accidentally letting it happen. Okay. Um, so, so make sure you get your head around personality. You don't have to go beyond the content that I've got there, but I do want you to show that you understand the content by describing it um, and applying it to those kind of three areas. Now, character, which um, you don't have in the, in the module, but you're, I'm putting in here because we had it in class. Character is a different idea. So positive psychologists is this kind of new-ish area of psychology where they said, what does it mean to live well? Okay, we've spent a lot of time looking at illness, you know, how to solve problems, mental health, blah, blah, blah. But what does it mean to live well, you know, to kind of really um, thrive? And so, um, what they did is they had a look and they said, well, what maybe, you know, worldwide, are there, are there character strengths? Are there things that we consider kind of positive? And so they found these kind of character strengths. The research that they did is what they found is not like, it, it's a different approach to, um, to personality. It's, it's um, just a different way of kind of conceptualizing it. So what they've said is, if you were to take your top five character strengths and make a point of using them, Okay, so this is not like personality. It's saying, look, there are certain things that you're strong in. If you make a point of using them for a couple of weeks, that your mental health will be better. Um, so if you use them for two weeks and six months time, your mental health will be better, your outcomes will be better. Okay, so this is a really important idea to understand because it means that I want you to identify what your strengths are and then be intentional about using them. You know, what are the things that you're really strong at? Don't not use them at university just because you think it's university, right? Make a point of using them. And my personal example is when I started looking at this stuff, looking into the research, I thought, well, I better practice what I preach. And so I made a point of using, you know, one of my character strengths is humor. Now that's not to say that I'm necessarily funny, right? But it's to say that one of the things that I love doing is, you know, that kind of lighthearted mucking around. Now, I have in the past attempted to be a slightly more serious academic that doesn't do that. And at that point, I thought, you know what, I'm going to start using that. And what that meant is that I was happier to be more relaxed. I was more um, personable. I, was, I wasn't trying quite so hard to look like I was smart. And that helped me to be more creative. It helped me to be more human and it helped me to connect with students better. And I was happier in the work that I was doing. So you're about to do a quick survey, it takes about 10, 15 minutes, that will identify your top five character strengths. Now I know damn well that you're gonna have a look at your bottom five. No one really cares about that, okay? Um, it's not interesting, it's not useful, it's not the point, right? The point of this is to identify your top five and then think about how they might apply, how you might use them in this subject and in your future career, okay? So different from personality, um, but it presents you with some quite exciting options. How might you use these things? How might you apply these things that you love doing that are a really intrinsic part of who you are, that are your strengths? How might you use them as we go through this subject? That has strong benefits for you, but it also has really strong benefits for your team.
okay? So make sure you understand the difference between personality and character. You use character, you are personality, right? That's the simple way, don't mix them up. Um, that's a fair indicator that you don't understand. Um, and then apply them to those different concepts. So take the survey and then think about, okay, which one of these is most interesting? Which ones could I talk about the most? And then put that in your video. That's the easiest way to do it. All right, catch up.